Today I'm going to show you how to encrypt and tunnel all your internet traffic through Fi with Firefox through SSH. This is great if you're out and about, let's say at like Starbucks or someplace where uh, you're connected to Wi-Fi and there's other people around. Now since you're both, you're, you're all on the same uh, sub-network, the same local network there, uh, people can do packet scans, uh, packet sniffing, and grab any traffic that's unencrypted from your machine to a server and they can grab you know whatever information out there you know see your emails and stuff so how do you get around this well all you have to do is encrypt all your traffic and connect it through a remote server uh, for example you can have a server set up at home or you can get an account at some place like Shellium uh, if you're lucky enough that you can get an account there um, and they will set up a server for you that you can remotely connect through and that way all your traffic is tunneled encryptedly through that and uh, so I'm going to show you how to do that today first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to whatismyip.com and see what our IP address is uh, 69, uh, 139, 42, and 81 so now we can go to our terminal here and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to type out a command to connect to a the remote uh, SSH server uh, but set it up so that uh, we can use a port on the local machine to connect through that and that will make more sense I hopefully as I go on what we're going to do is SSH with the switch of capital D and then we're going to say local host and that's just saying that we're going to connect we're going to begin connecting to a remote machine but all our traffic on the local host at so we're going to do uh, uh, a colon there and just pick any port that's not being used I'm just going to use 9999 um, so that's our local machine and we're opening up that port and any traffic that connects to that port on our machine is going to go to uh, our remote machine and we're going to connect to our Shellium account at Shellium Dot org. It's actually ssh.shellium.org and we will hit enter and this is my first time connecting to Shellium from this computer so it's asking me am I sure yes and uh, I have the font real big that's a picture of a rat there and then you just type in your password uh, I think I typed it right there there you go and I am logged in I can now minimize this screen so we're connected to Shellium. Now we have to tell Firefox to use that port on our local machine. So we're going to go up to Edit, Preferences. Then we're going to go, let me bring this over here, to uh, Advanced, Network, Settings. And I'm going to use Manual Proxy Configuration. Uh, and I'm going to use a Sockets host, or Sox host, and I'm going to type in 127.0.0.1 and I'm going to choose port 9999 because that's what I said earlier although I, as I said you can choose any port that's not already being used and that's it you can hit OK at this point but if there's still computers on the local network that you need to connect to uh, through Firefox you can add them here you know comma and then type in whatever their address is there I don't have anything I need to connect to so I'm going to Remove that. It has your local host here, so you, so when you type in either of these, it looks for it on the local network, so you can connect back to yourself rather than on the remote network. So I'm going to click OK, and that's it. You can close that screen. Now, if we refresh the what is uh, your IP address? Uh, what is my IP? You can see our IP changed. So any traffic I send through Firefox now is going to be encrypted and going to a different server, it's like a proxy server, well, it is a proxy server, not like a proxy server. So basically this helps you in multiple different ways in that no one can see your traffic on the local network, but also when you're connecting the websites, if they trace it back to you, they're actually gonna be tracing it back to this IP address, which can be in a different state or the other side of the world. You know, so you can just keep on doing, you know, your regular everyday stuff and you can see it loads fine doesn't slow it down 
and that server is like on the other side of the country from me. So uh, you can set up your own SSH server at home, open a port on your router, and and so no matter where you are in the world, your your connection is secure because you're going through your server at home, or you, as I said, you can get an account through someplace like Shellium.org. Uh, so I hope you found this helpful. Visit uh, bashscripts.info for more uh, command line tools and scripts and video tutorials. Have a great day.